Hey folks, Technivers here. Welcome to the Technivers channel. You know, if you're like me, you run a lot of different filaments through your Ender 3 series printers, and once in a while this can lead to jams, or sometimes you just need to change the nozzle. Now the easiest way to get at the hot end is obviously to remove the shroud, and I'm going to show you a neat little trick with this handy cover I've developed. Basically we're going to give it a slight turn to loosen it, and we're going to pop it right off. So, we're going to be talking about this cover today, and before we do that, I need you to go ahead and reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button down there. Make sure you give it a good first layer squish, because you're not going to want to miss any of the things I have coming up in the next few weeks. we got some really big videos coming up. That said, let's get back to the Singularity Shroud. Now, originally, I was calling it the Singularity Shroud because I wanted a piece that held both the fans and had the vent attached. Now, this is a single print for the whole hot end. While messing around with this, taking different variations on and off, and screwing in these screws, I realized, you know, I really got sick of tightening and loosening these and taking them off. So now, all I have to do is just get in here with the right Allen key, hold it down a little bit, make sure it's in position, and give it a little twist, and it's pretty secure on there now. So, it's not going anywhere. Super simple, super easy to swap out, and the other cool thing is, I decided to take this fan here and put it on the outside. And the reason I did that is because if you don't want to take the whole shroud off and you need to see what's going on in the hot end, you can simply remove the fan. Now I do have it screwed in, it's held in place by one screw right now, and that is simply to keep it from vibrating. The fan itself does fit in there pretty well, and the shroud is developed to hold it no problem. The other fan does not have any screws. It basically slides into the slot. It doesn't rattle around. It fits really well and just directs air through that vent there. So it just pops right in. This one here, as I said, you remove it, you can see the hot end. You can see if there's any gunk building up in there. That would mean that you have a gap in your throat or your nozzle is not seated properly. And that's basically the gist of it. This goes right back on. Like I said, I did attach it with one screw. I was planning on leaving it like it was, but it did start doing a little bit of rattling because it's free in there. Um, so I think best practice is here. It's going to be to line the inside of this with some foam, a slight layer of foam tape. That way it just slides right in and out. But I need to find something that I'm sure is heat resistant. Now, this is PLA, and I've done tons of prints on this. I was actually printing a... Uh, uh, excuse me, I was printing an ABS on here last night and while the print warped because I was too cold in my room um, the hot end held up really really well against the heat of the heat block at its highest temperature so you can print this in PLA and be perfectly fine not have any issues. I'll show you a couple other iterations that I have here uh, let's see where's the first one there it is back there okay so the original shroud looked like this. Um, you can see the vent was a little bit different. This gap was a little wide, and there wasn't a, a hole here for the side fan, as you can see in later models. Now, this is another iteration, and this one does have the hole for the side fan, and it is placed correctly. Still have that weak, really, really thin vent there that's directed sideways, and that was blowing on my nozzle, causing problems. So we made some adjustments to that and we made a more downward aiming nozzle. However, it turns out the wall here was a little bit too thin when I put the fan in, it broke. So we had to go back, fatten that part up, and you can see a big difference here in the actual fan nozzle sections. Like I said, super thin and directed sideways at the nozzle, which was not ideal. This one works really well, however, I was having some issues with the print there. So. Uh, we did thicken that spot, and we printed another one, and this is the final version. I'll have this up on Thingiverse. If you'd like to check it out, make sure you download it. I want to see pictures of your rakes, guys. Put this on your printer and send me a picture because I am very, very curious to see how they come out. And let me know how your prints are coming out. I've been having amazing luck with this. I think the fact that it just slides on and off is probably the coolest thing. I don't know why all print shroud covers aren't like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it, guys. That's going to be it for this video, and Technivorous out.